guys, long time no see. I had a free day today and I'm really excited about it because I wanted to film some videos for you guys. And this is the video I was most excited to film because it's been like a game changer for me. And this is how I've been doing my eyeliner lately. For probably like the last couple of months, I've been experimenting with this technique and I absolutely love it. You guys know that I love winged eyeliner. I've been a winged eyeliner person for as long as I can remember and winged eyeliner is great. It's beautiful. I always use the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Pen. It's a great product, but sometimes I'm just not in the mood to do precise winged eyeliner. I've never liked doing winged eyeliner. I just like the way that it looks, but doing winged eyeliner to me is just so tedious and precise and sometimes my hands are really shaky because I drink too much coffee and this technique that I'm going to show you today is like the lazy girl way to do winged eyeliner and make it look beautiful so if you're one of those people that can't nail down winged eyeliner like you've tried you've practiced but you just can never get them even or you never can get them to look good this is your trick now this is not a new technique I've seen this done multiple times on YouTube but you know how sometimes you see something and you know that it exists but you never actually try it and then you finally give it a try and you're like oh my god this is life changing that is me with this technique so this is the winged eyeliner as you can tell it looks really clean it looks really pretty and it's so freaking easy so definitely keep watching if you guys want to learn this and i hope you guys enjoy it all right you guys so what you're gonna do first sorry i look a little bit weird right now it's like my makeup is half done and it always looks so weird when your makeup is like half done like this so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take tape you can take scotch tape, you know, cheap tape, it doesn't matter. Um, I think this is from like the Dollar Tree or something like that. So just take a little piece of tape, just like this. And what you can do is you can just stick it on the back of your hand. It kind of takes off a little bit of the stickiness so you're not pulling too hard at your eye. And then you're going to stick it on to your eye right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to get it as close to your lash line as you possibly can because if you don't, it's gonna be hard to kind of get that really nice swoop. So you want it to be really, really close to your lash line. Now, I recommend doing a really good angle, an angle that follows your lower lash line up. But of course, if you're looking for that more doe-eyed look, you can do a flatter wing, but I prefer a more angled wing. So if you wanna follow rules, just follow your lower lash line up directly to the corner of your brow. Now the trick is when you stick the tape on, you wanna make sure that you kind of lift your eyebrows slightly and that's gonna stretch the skin out just enough to where you have a really nice clean line. So I go right close to that lash line, as close as you possibly can. And then lift up your brows and tape it down. And you really wanna get that nice and flat to your eye. You don't want any like air pockets or bubbles. You want to do both sides at the same time so you know you're getting um, them even. Lift up your brow and stick it down. So you want to look in the mirror, make sure your tape is at the same angle on both sides. It's okay if it's not perfect. So then you're going to take your black eyeshadow. So I definitely recommend the Makeup Geek High Pigment, I think it's what it's called, the High Pigment Black. Mine is right here. I talk about this palette in my favorites video, and I think I'm gonna upload that video first. So if you wanna know more about this palette, definitely check that video out. And then you're gonna take a little brush that looks like this. You don't want it to be too stiff, but you don't want it to be too big either. Um, this is an Eco Tools brush. It's just like a little, I don't know, a lip brush. Like this could be used for lips. This here is also a really good brush. A nice, you know, small pointed brush. This is an Elisa Jade brush. Do you guys remember Purse Buzz? This is a good one as well. This is also Eco Tools, but it's a little bit bigger than this one. It also depends on how um, blended that you want your winged eyeliner to be. If you want it to be really harsh, you could use something a little bit smaller and more precise. If you want something more blended, definitely use something maybe a little bit more fluffy. Um, it kind of just depends on what look you want. So I think I'm gonna go with this fluffier Eco Tools one. So then you're just gonna take your setting spray and you're just going to spray your little brush. You're gonna go into your black eyeshadow and you're just gonna start kind of blending that onto your lash line and you wanna blend it up the tape and you want to kind of form it into a really nice point. The thing though you wanna make sure is that you do spray your brush first, otherwise you may have some fallout. Luckily the tape will catch most of the fallout but sometimes it'll kind of fall below the tape. So if you spray your brush first, it's gonna help prevent some of that fallout and it's gonna give you a darker black. First I work it on the lash line and I personally kind of like the blended look. I think it kind of gives it like a really nice natural look. And I usually just do kind of like the middle to the outer part. I don't go all the way into the inner corners. You can if you want. 
I personally don't when I do this technique. And you're just going to move up to the winged part. And of course you can switch brushes if you want something a little bit more precise. I'm going to move to the smaller Eco Tools, which is the detailed liner. And I'm just going to do a nice clean wing. You can just kind of blend it out a little bit. I feel like I maybe did my angle a little bit too high, but whatever, we're gonna go with it. So that is what that side looks like. It looks really messy right now, but as soon as we take the tape off, it's gonna be really, really clean. So let's go ahead and do this side. So you're just going to blend it onto that lash line. I do the lash line first. And like I said, go to about the middle of your eye. And you can make this as blended as you want, you guys. Sometimes I do it really blended, sometimes I don't. And you're just gonna go up here and make that really nice clean point. And just make sure you're kind of getting them the same length. This one looks a little bit shorter. It's just so easy, you guys. This technique makes life so much easier. And then what you're gonna do if you want, I usually do this, I'll just take kind of a fluffier brush and I just kind of blend a little bit just so I get like a nice soft line there. So just kind of stand back, make sure both um, eyes are even. I feel like they're both pretty even. Ugh. It always feels like it's pulling my skin. Like I said, always put it on the back of your hand first. As you can tell, it kind of took off some of my makeup there. And I think the reason it did that is because I had it on for a really long time. Normally it doesn't take my makeup off that extreme, but because I'm filming a video, I think that it just took it off a little bit more. So what you can do is take a little bit of foundation. I don't normally have to do this, but because it did take it off for this video, I'm going to do it. But just put a little bit on here if it takes off your makeup. Normally, I will not do this because I don't need to. It depends on how long you have the tape on your skin, to be honest. But what I normally do is I just take this fluffy brush that I showed you earlier. I take my face powder and you're just going to apply that underneath the eyeliner, blend out this line here so it's not so harsh. And it also kind of touches up your makeup slightly as well. Kind of gives you that nice edge. And you can also just kind of blend out that really harsh line because I don't like it when it looks too harsh. So if you just kind of blend it out with this brush, it just makes it look a lot better. So now that you have the eyeliner on, you're just gonna take your coal liner of choice and I just go right under my top lashes in the waterline or the tight line, whatever you want to call it. And I also do right here. And then I also do the bottom waterline. Of course, you don't have to do your waterlines, but I definitely always recommend doing it on the top because it kind of fills in that gap. I hate that look of eyeliner and then there's like that little gap of skin tone like right underneath. If you tight line underneath your winged eyeliner, it always looks a million times better. And then I just kind of blend out that bottom lash line. It just kind of makes it nice and soft. And then you're gonna apply your mascara. So I'm just using this NYX mascara and I'm going to curl my lashes. This, this is the Doll Eyes by NYX. It's kind of my favorite at the moment. And I'm going to just apply that. I use lash serum and it makes my lashes so long and beautiful. Literally, lash serum is like the best investment that you can make ever. Like if you struggle with long lashes and you have like really short, like stubby lashes, I'm telling you, just get yourself some lash serum because it really does make a humongous difference, guys. Now this eyeliner technique actually looks really, really good if you have like outer corner lashes. If you wanna glue outer corner lashes on, that can be really, really pretty as well. But um, this is kind of the final look all done. As you guys can tell, I did like the really, really heavy liner just because I wanted to show you guys what it looked like on camera. But of course, like I said, you could do much more subtle. But this is what it looks like. I think it looks really pretty, really clean. And the thing I really like about this too is it's easy, but it also has a more blended, natural look to it. You don't have that really harsh 
line, which there's nothing wrong with that. I still like that look, but this is nice if you want something a little bit more blended and a little bit more smoky, and you can make it as smoky as you want. Like you could blend this eyeliner up into the crease, so it kind of looks like a wing, but it kind of blends into the crease or into the outer V. Like there's so many fun things that you can do with this technique, and that's what I like about it. It just looks so much more natural and smoky, and it's just so pretty, guys. Definitely give this a try, especially if you don't want to waste your time in the morning doing like winged eyeliner with like a pen, because I know that that can be really frustrating and annoying, especially when you're not in the mood to be precise like that. This is like a really easy, lazy way to do it, but you still get a very, very beautiful look. So, so that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys made it through this video, put a heart emoji in the comments. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope I can start filming more for you guys and crossing my fingers we can go back to school soon so I get a little bit more time to film for you guys. Um, but I'm gonna try to film as many videos as I can today so I can pump some out for you for a while. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.